You know what I hate most about using these MetroCard machines? Not the fact that it has a bad user experience, or that they don't always take cash or card, or that they function so slow and cause long lines. The part that I hate the most is having to touch it. These machines can get so gross. You'll see machines with spilled food, greasy fingerprints, or unknown liquids. And not only that, sometimes the sensors on these machines can't detect your finger when you touch the screen, and so you kind of have to find the right sweet spot when you're selecting buttons on the screen. It's not a true touchscreen, but sometimes you have no choice but to use these machines. Thankfully today, we have contactless payment available. This has been available for all subways and buses all over New York since 2019. Now, four years later, there are five new updates to these Omni machines, which are the contactless payment system in New York. And if you're curious as to what these updates are, that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So keep watching. And if you've ever struggled with using a MetroCard, hit that like button. Welcome to Urban Caffeine, my name is Thea and you're watching a channel that keeps tabs on public transit in New York City. If you like topics like these, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss future videos. Having a contactless payment system that's open loop, meaning it can accept a universal payment method like a credit card or a smartphone, is a huge deal because it simplifies taking public transit. Just last week, I made a video on how paying for public transit shouldn't be the thing that holds people back from taking public transit. With New York's Omni system, you don't have to get in line at a vending machine. And with rolling fare cap, which I'll talk about in a bit, you don't have to figure out what type of ticket to get or whether you need unlimited for the week or not. And with the acceptance of universal payment like credit card or debit card, there's no need to get a different ticket every time you switch different modes of transit, like from the air train to the subway. Those are huge reasons why the Omni system is such a big deal in New York City. So let's start with the first update, which is the rolling fare cap. If you don't know what fare capping is, check out this video. It's basically putting a limit on how much you spend on public transit in a given period of time. In New York, the new fare cap is $34 per seven days, so you never have to pay more than $34 in a seven day period. Before, fare capping was locked in from Monday to Sunday. So if you used Omni from Wednesday to Monday, you were within two fare cap periods, even though you used the system for only six days. Now, fare capping is rolling. Once you tap, no matter what day, your rides are tallied for the next seven days. And the seven day fare cap will start again the next time you tap after the previous seven day period. However, tracking your trip is proving to be difficult lately, which brings us to the next update. In the beginning, when Omni was first launched, you were able to see your trip history in your Omni account. You could see all the stations you paid at and where you got your free transfers. And this was also where you could dispute any wrong charges. But there was a security flaw with this. Turns out if you had someone's, anyone's credit card information, you would be able to see their trip history. Super creepy, not private at all. This was announced back in August, and to this day, the history tracker has been disabled. This is so frustrating because you're just using Omni blindly and you can't tally up how many rides you've made. I use an Omni card and I load it with 30 or $40 at a time, and I can't look at all the charges on the Omni card, all I can see on my credit card account is a 30 or $40 charge. Everything that happens within my Omni card, I can't tell whether I was charged twice at a station or if I've had my free transfer. And I can't dispute charges because I don't have that record of my trip. I guess one roundabout way to track your trips is to use your credit card directly or your phone with the credit card programmed into it. But then you get all these small charges of 290 in your statement, which if you're like me who likes to keep good tabs on your spending, it's frustrating because it just clutters everything. I'm hoping they get this fixed soon. When that will be, who knows? I'm gonna check before I publish this video and if anything changes from the time I record this video to publishing it, I'll make sure to pin a comment. 
Not only do we have Omni on subways and buses, we now have contactless payment at the JFK Airport Air Train and the Roosevelt Island Tram. This is a big deal because from airplane to subway, people need to pay for the air train in between, which used to only take the metro card. So even if people paid directly with a credit card at the subway, they would have still needed to buy a metro card, which cost an extra dollar on top of the fare. But now people can just pay directly from air train to subway with a card or smartphone and no need to get in line. But because not everybody has a credit card, debit card, or smartphone, and they want to phase out the Metro card and just have the Omni system as the sole payment system on public transit in New York, there needs to be a way for someone to pay with cash when taking public transit. They can do this with an Omni card that can be loaded with cash or credit or debit card. And where might one get an Omni card? For the longest time, they slowly rolled out the Omni card by just selling them at convenience stores like CVS or 7-Eleven. But Omni vending machines have been popping up in stations all over the city. Not all stations have these, but they're slowly getting to all the stations. It's so unassuming too, they just quietly rolled it out. You walk into a station and sometimes you'll see an Omni machine next to a MetroCard machine. But they're not functional yet, and I assume there's gonna be this big announcement once they are functional and people can buy Omni cards. But just seeing these machines in stations, it's a sign of progress. On that note, make sure you follow me on social media so you get the latest updates on these machines. These videos that I make on YouTube have a lag time. It takes me about two weeks to make a YouTube video, but I share all the latest updates as I get them on social media. So make sure you follow. And yes, Omni cards are more expensive than the Metro card, but they are valid for five years, so they're roughly the same. Special fare reduced cards are now available for seniors and those with disabilities, and you can get them in person or online. For students, they don't have them yet, but I'm sure it's coming soon. The MTA website lists locations where people can go in person and instructions for online access. Let's take a moment and talk about the online process of getting a special fare card. If someone were to tell me I could get a special fare card online in my Omni account, I would logically think that it would fall under account in the nav. But no, you have to go through this chat box which works, but it's not that intuitive if someone hadn't told me beforehand. As a designer, I feel that these chat box are a last resort sort of thing if you cannot find something through the nav. I don't know, are trends changing? Is chat box or digital assistance the way to go now? Comment down below. But if you've gone through this experience of getting a special fare card online, comment how easy or how hard it is, or if you had to call somebody. I'm curious. So what can we say now? The rollout of the Omni system has been slower than expected and way over budget. Partly because it was reported that there weren't that many people working full time on this, along with high turnover in management. Turnover in management is no joke. Whenever there's a turnover in management, there's potential for the sky to fall. You have this process going and suddenly it's all disrupted because maybe there's an org chart, maybe the processes change. And so the fact that there were several turnovers in management in the four years that Omni has been rolling out, that's uh, quite a concern there. <laughs> But overall, in general, when it comes to public works, when it comes to government, when it comes to public transit, in the US, progress is slow. So the fact that the Omni system has all these new updates like rolling fare cap, reduced fare, the use of it on other transit systems outside of the subway and the buses is reason to celebrate. I know some of you out there are thinking, oh, my country has had this for a very long time and the rollout was pretty fast. We know and we're jealous of it. But instead of telling us what we already know and what we're already jealous of, just, just come celebrate with us. Because any progress in the realm of transit in the United States is well fought for. A lot of time, energy, and resources were put into that. And some people dedicate their life's work, their entire life's work, to building transit 
where it does not exist. It's hard to get any progress done in the United States, so any small victory is worth celebrating because behind these small incremental wins, people had to move mountains. Anyway, if you've made it this far, my question to you is, how do you feel about the impending retirement of the Metro card? Comment down below and let's reminisce together. I remember moving to New York and on day two, I bought a monthly unlimited Metro card. And that to me was ceremonial. I felt instantly connected to the city because I just spent 120 something dollars on public transit. So it was like me saying, hey, New York, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> I'm gonna be here for a while. And that's all I got for you. Before you click out, make sure you like this video and hit subscribe. If you wanna chat more about public transit in New York or just New York things in general, we have an active Discord community. You can access Discord through Patreon or the join button of this channel. Thank you so much for watching and until the next video, happy New Yorking.